Have you ever been called a chameleon or multiple personalities? Have you ever been diagnosed as schizophrenic? Well, perhaps this video is meant for you. Because a sub-personality is in humanistic psychology, transpersonal psychology, and ego psychology, a personality mode that activates, appears on a temporary basis, to allow a person to cope with certain types of psychosocial situations. So I have for your consideration, for your estimations, if you will, a little <clears throat> presentation on subpersonalities. And we're looking at a <clears throat> depiction of darkened circles that depict subpersonalities. And as this Oh, and look, there's, a, there's the light up here. That's the great light of the sun, which, man, look, go look up the activity of the sun, like these M-class flares and C-class flares. It's... So, but these subpersonalities and may overlap from one region to another. In regions, we have your conscious waking personality. You know, you're non-hypnotized, you're, you know, where you're at the controls, so you think. But that's your conscious waking personality. And think about yourself in different situations or different groups of people that you're around or your, your work personality versus your, how your personality is, like, you know, when you're at a social function or what have you. But... So we have this graph that talks about that, your conscious waking personality, your subconscious, your self-talk, your inner dialogue, you know, your judgments, your um, decisions that are taking place. But then you have this personal region of the unconscious, karma, repressed traumas, your talents, past lives. You have family, unconscious, imprinting family history. You have down here core essence, beingness, collective unconscious, race memory. But all of this energy, all of these dynamics taking place that shape who you are. And keep in mind, this, this part up here, this conscious waking personality is, is not really in control as much as we'd like to think. It, it's just kind of... Uh, it's the icing on the cake. The, the, the cake is down here. The subconscious, your self-talk, you know, your true self. And that is preyed upon and shaped by a very well-organized entity, the digital matrix, if you will. Your constant bombardment with your surrounding, your input from your uh, surroundings. So, but those in the conscious region tend to be familiar and known. Ones in your subconscious come out in times of stress. And you have some sense of how they operate, but they tend to arrive when you are fearful. Unconscious subpersonalities are in shadow and thus operate in subtle ways. Frequently, these subpersonalities are stuck at a childhood age or a soul age younger than the personality, and as such, they act inappropriately in attitude or behavior to heal or release sub subs do regression work um, so that's that that's just kind of to give you a, a bit of a handle on uh, you know sub personalities 
uh, when we're talking about energy enhancement and how you can free up and direct your energies, your inner energetic resources can all be working together rather than weak and aimless being dispersed, uh, dissipated with a hundred weak and aimless sub agendas, sub personalities, you know, being in control, being in soul control, source connected soul control is integration, integration. And I can tell you that I, that I was a person aimless in, in subject, subjugation sub, uh, to many lesser sub personalities that would fritter and waste my hours away, pointless, aimless sub personalities until that was no longer the case. And I have my personal journey, you know, I've talked about, but um, the first step though, in this process of integration, because that's really what it's all about. The hell with worrying about being enlightened or, you know, knowing everything or whatever, just, just no longer be your own worst enemy, become integrated. And first step in that process of integration here at the Om Banda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and energetic enhancement is hit that subscribe button and realize that the first step in this process is just, well, having an understanding. So first we look at our resources on what sub-personalities entail, what that means. And I shared a, a, a photo, a graph, to give you an idea of what we're talking about here and how this uh, how this sort of plays in with our total our totality of consciousness of awareness as well as the you know the psychological uh, details on all this right so not to just use words from the religious spiritual side of the house from yoga philosophy but also to 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 take from you know, Western science and psychology, transpersonal psychology, ego psychology, all this. But so, you know, we have these various terms that we can work with and deal with and, and ultimately they integrate, right? Just as our sub personalities will integrate. So, but there is one particular historical person that I wanted to introduce. Uh, and their name is Paracelsus von Hohenheim, they lived from 1490 and 1541, and they were an outstanding medical therapist, considered the greatest mystic in the history of Western medicine. Medicine. Now, Paracelsus devoted his life to research in the healing arts, because ultimately, energy, energetic enhancement, personality integration is about healing that's what this endeavor is about healing and you know of course i i've gone through personal uh experiences my own odyssey of healing of reintegration and so this is it's it, ultimately this is all about healing when you talk about energetic enhancement you're Reclaiming your energies, you're re reclaiming your um, aspects and bringing them back into unity. And that's part of unity consciousness and the law of one and getting unhooked from the digital matrix. But essentially realizing the, the invisible aspect of us, of you and I, that include thought forms and emotion forms. And these thought forms and emotion forms, these this inner dialogue that takes place. These are like infants, inner children, especially when you start looking at them in their beginnings, where they depend upon their creator, you and I, our conscious aspect for their nutrition and survival. Now, Paracelsus was a pretty sharp old dude. He noted that most elementaries or subpersonalities seem to be of an evil or destructive nature. They are generated from the excesses of human thought and emotion, the corruption of character, or the degeneration of faculties and powers, which should be used in other more constructive ways. 
But you see, dear, esteemed, noble, and most honorable viewer, the digital matrix is not, the, elite, the elites, the agenda is not about faculties and powers which should be used in other more constructive ways. No. They want, they want it all for themselves. So that does not involve you and I. That, in fact, that involves you and I being ushered out of this 3D reality as fast as possible through, by any means necessary. So energetic enhancement, is reclaiming your inter is reclaiming your sovereignty, self empowerment, um, and as Paracelsus noted, that most elementaries or subpersonalities seem to be of an evil or destructive nature, and that usually, when you look at refer back to the chakra energy center model, uh, and and uh, and the lower chakras. They're not evil in and of themselves. Survival is not evil, but being only operating from that energetic center, like saying, you know, you're thinking about sex 24 seven and, and, uh, uh, and eating, you know, have a problem with eating. All this stuff is just out of balance, energy out of balance, right? There's nothing evil in and of any of that when it's in balance, right? So that's kind of what we're about, talking about. Energy enhancement is, is reclaiming and reintegrating and um, allowing your true will, your divine will to connect to source and cleanse and, and sort of put in balance these evil destructive tendencies that we have where we're, we're our own worst enemies the, for, you know, that are generated from the excesses of human thought and emotion, the corruption of character from the digital matrix, which that is what they're in business for is to get you signed up to the metaverse to get you uh you know uh, uh, virtual reality headsets your orgasmatron turned up to 23 and just staying hooked in to the digital matrix artificial intelligence hive mind uh feeding these uh, nebu empire uh you know hybrid grades while they're poking you and prodding you all right that Maybe that's a little, I, I'm not going there. I'm, I'm staying hooked up to the divine matrix. If you want to stay hooked up to the divine matrix, hit that subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for further information dissemination broadcast from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and the divine matrix. Namaste. Namaskaram.